Jeremy Cook here, and today I'll be going over how to use a JC Pro Macro computer input device as a musical instrument. So once you get done with using this for some sort of a macro keypad, actually doing some sort of something productive, you can play with it with this, this speaker. Plays an A, plays B, C, D, E. To make things even better, this can work with a small solenoid to drum out a little beat with it. So watch this. Of course, the base device is a JC Pro Macro, which uses an Arduino Pro Micro board, and the PCB is made by PCBWay. I'm really happy with how this device turned out, so follow along to see how I made it and how you can make one yourself. Here I'm going to be making a little expansion board for my uh, JC Pro Macro. You've got the ground plus 5 volts and then pins 7 and 6 here, but it's a little bit hard to get to both of them at once if you want to use like a servo motor or a, you know, different output at the same time. So for this I'm going to be making something like this, just kind of a 6 and 7 5 volt ground, just kind of breaking them out so I can more easily plug them in with different pins. What I'll do is I'll score this and then break it off. Oh, I'm not sure where that went. All right, that wasn't working out real well because of my poor soldering skills for the most part, which is which is why I get PCBs now. But what I decided to do was use these um, pass-through headers, I think they're called, so I can put these in and kind of bend it over. That should make things a little easier. Well, it's not pretty and not really even what I intended to do to begin with. Inputs go in there and then the outputs go here and here. A little spoiler, I may have a better solution for this coming up. What I'm thinking is I'll make this be a drum and then the other other two, uh, the positive and the negative, I'll make that go off a buzzer. So I'll have like a beat and then the buzzer from, from the keys. For the actual drum, I'll use these one of these chopsticks, have it go back and forth, so. As a base, I'll use this old soldering base. We'll see, I guess I'll just attach it like this. So it... And there we go, looking good. I feel like so many of my projects are, I guess a bit more planned out now than they used to be. So it's nice to just kind of put some together as, uh, as convenient. So we'll see how this works out. I've, I've yet to get to actually hook this up and see if it all works, but you know, basically the idea is that I'll have music coming out there and then accompanying it with the, the drums, quote unquote the drums, and yeah, it should be awesome. Well, I've managed to get something not working quite correctly here. The OLED screen isn't coming on and yeah, it's not really being recognized by the computer. So, so something's not right here. I don't know if I shorted something or it, this just isn't isn't good for it, you know, as far as all the current it has to put in for the servo. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll make another one of these. I'll probably put it so I can actually pop it out the bottom. I think I'm going to call it the mothership mounting option. Basically, you solder up the headers to the top, solder some female headers to the bottom of this, and you can make it so this comes out if you need to. So easy to switch out if you somehow damage your processor. Wire these two two buttons together, so the two pins together, reset and ground, so that when I'm programming, I can just hit that. And it should make it should make it a lot easier. I guess it's not easy to do it one-handed. Let's push it in. Voila, there it is. So a couple days later, my PCB arrived from PCBWay. It's got the um, inputs here and then the flipped outputs here for, for some different situations with some I2C boards. And then you've got straight out connections here, another straight out connection that I can break if I need to with a knife or something. But yeah, for now, for this application, it makes it great so I can just put female connector on there and then put some males on the other ends. Probably should have waited for this to begin with. Should be okay, hopefully. Hopefully I won't blow out another, or whatever I did to the other Arduino. So we'll go ahead and solder it up. So that looks pretty good. I guess what I'll do is I'll also put a capacitor in this to smooth out, smooth out things. Hopefully that's a, a good idea, not a bad idea. 
and yeah, there we go. I actually didn't didn't build it primarily for this. Primarily, it's it's I call it the JC Pro Macro I2C helper. So basically, like you put this on there and it swaps the power and ground on the second one, so that if you've got a OLED panel that has those swapped, it's a little bit easier to, to hook up. So hopefully that'll be a good thing for for this build. I designed this little board in KiCad, as well as the JC Pro Macro and the Easy Fan 2 board. With that done, I sent it off to the sponsor for this video, PCBWay. They do excellent work for me and seem to get boards back in about a week from China. Quality has always been very good, and I ordered this one in matte black, which looked really good on my JC Pro Macro board. Here you can see their online Gerber viewer, which is a nice little, little step to go through before actually ordering your board. So let's get back to the build and see if I can actually get this to work. And then on this row, you've got the servo ground, servo power, and then servo signal. So this signal, I don't necessarily want this signal. What I'm going to do is just cut it off. Hopefully this will work. This is the first time I've, I've tried this. So no connection there. Connect there. Connect there in. Connect there. So that's exactly what we want. Hopefully it'll work. Here we've got a little five volt solenoid, so let's see how this how this works out. It's pretty tiny, but uh, we'll see. Apply voltage to get it to retract. So it seems to work really well on a desk, but not so much on a on a service like this. A easy fan 2 board, which will pass a load. I've got that hooked up to a signal of ground and power that'll be able to actuate the yes, a solenoid. And then on this, on these pins, I'm going to hook up a speaker so that I can, you know, play some notes and then have it have it pounding out a beat too. Well, here I'll plug it in right here. Easy fan 2 board here and here. Direction here doesn't matter, I don't believe. And then the speaker, I'll hook up. Let's roll through here. It'll be kind of like a drum, like click, 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 click. Or maybe I can even have it set a BPM setting. So I've got this laid out now so that I can play notes with this. And you can see how it responds in the little oscilloscope. The problem is that when I try to turn this up and down on the B channel, it's supposed to trigger the solenoid through the Easy Fan 2 board, but it's not doing that for some reason. So I guess I'll have to figure that out. So I ran this directly to the Easy Fan 2 board to the solenoid and neglected to use this uh, adapter board. So I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on with that, but it does work. Really pretty neat. The dog apparently didn't like it though. I realized that actually one of these uh, these traces had been cut in the previous, previous, previous iteration, so I guess when troubleshooting you can't make any assumptions. I'll solder that up and hopefully it'll work. I guess that's an assumption too. All right, so I removed the capacitor and soldered those two leads together and let's see what happens. The dog's not too happy with this situation, but you can see here, Now I guess the next step is to get it so it can turn out a beat and maybe play at the same time.
That build was a whole lot of fun and I really enjoyed playing with it. Of course the JC Pro Macro is still capable of computer control operations like turning the volume up and down, skipping songs, editing video, or just about anything else you can think of. You can find it for sale in Tindy linked in the description and if you like what, I, what you saw here I make all kinds of crazy stuff so be sure to poke around the channel, maybe subscribe, give me a like, or just leave me a comment. Thanks so much for watching, this is Jeremy Cook, signing off.